Hello boys and girls, welcome to part of the... What do we call it? Low budget... Hack job? Ice. <laughs> We're gonna hack up the... Crush bar? The crush bar slash uh, bumper beam because it doesn't fit as you saw in the last episode. We need to bend it inward a little bit more. So we decided to cut it like this, but not all the way. So we're only bending the, the bottom piece of it. Uh, so we're, we're basically bringing down the both ends down. This needs to go, the middle needs to go up uh, just to make it easier for us. And then we're gonna weld it back. Uh, there's obviously gonna be a bit more space in here. Probably in an inch. Yeah, probably, well, probably not. We'll see. Uh, we're gonna cut a new piece of uh, steel and just weld over it and uh, call it a day. Then clean this up, uh, the rusty bits here and there, paint it. Alrighty, a little update. So this is, this is what we are missing, that big of a gap. So now I'm thinking just uh, cut a little piece right over here, not, not, not even bother with the top and bottom. Just cut a piece for here, or maybe just a little longer one. Maybe, well, because we could just, uh, Kind of fill this in. Let's see what we got. Yeah, it should be okay. Maybe less. What? What about this? This gap here. This is supposed to be like that. Yeah, yeah. Look at the look. See, it was only touching in the middle because it was pressed again right. against the uh, much harder in the middle. So yeah, so this is good. All right, this is what this fender looks like now. So as you can see, there is a well, there is a big old crack here. And there's one more here, and there is one more here. There is a hole here, another one here. Yeah, so I did fix a few dents here and there. There was a dent right here on the rust spot. There were dents right over here. Anyways, um, this guy, whenever you, I'm gonna weld this together, but before I'm gonna weld it, I'm gonna drill a little hole right where the crack ends. The tiny hole will actually stop from cracking it even more. Then I'm gonna weld it on the inside and then uh, grind the outside. Bondo will fix that. We are not gonna worry about this area too much because this, starting here, this is under the car. Just to, you know, throw some welds on the inside just to make it a bit stronger. Let's see what Luke is doing. All right. So this is what it looks like now. All these weld welds were done on the inside. You, you don't wanna see how it looks on the inside, trust me. So I was clean cleaning it and cleaning it and cleaning, cleaning it, but we only have one month left. So this will have to do. Luke is still working on the bumper beam. So now I'm gonna since this <laughs> behind your pants? Oh shit, hot welds, hot welds. Under his pants. Alright, so uh, I burned through a few spots here and there, that's why I decided not to go any further. Weld it up over here here some of this actually came out okay but uh, from here and down that's underneath the car then we're gonna probably put a little bando on this area as we bando this area here so now i'm gonna apply this stuff okay we are straight this will be good all right so now we're gonna clean it up paint it and put it on the very last time hopefully we still need this plastic over here so we have something to attach the fender to. And now this stuff is at work. This needs to turn black all the way. This is good stuff. I used it on, on a different car. So this is the inside of the fender. And this will convert rust to primer. Put it on as thick as possible. You know, two, three, four coats even sometimes. As long as it turns black. And then it will be fine. I did say I'm going to show you where the fenders, well, the one we had, the original one on the car, is starting to rust. Here and here, I guess your typical area. This area, that's also a typical 
cancer area that's good so what we're gonna do we're just gonna as you can see it's already sanded we're gonna give it a paint just this area just to cover up the bare, bare metal and install this one and look how this turned out this is the outside that's that uh, conver rust converter stuff so when it turns black it's good that means that it's working and it turned out good if it's gonna turn brown like like this area a little bit this is kind of brownish that's because it's not rust it's either paint or it's dirt a little bit here and here you can see a little bit of brown not gonna worry about it so this is gonna get a, a coat of primer and uh, one more area here and yeah just just overall clean then we're gonna install both fenders align them we got the bumper the bumper beam is already done so that's primer white bumper beam so we still need to probably zip tie that plastic piece foam stuff thing whatever that goes in between the bumper beam and the, and the actual bumper cover so that's what we're gonna do install all this stuff we have this plastic I actually took it off somewhere but uh, bolts down to the fender and that clips on the bumper cover yeah we got both of them yeah, we got to actually look as uh, took it off his 07 STI, which has been uh, apart for probably 10 years now. Not yet. Okay, not nine, yet. nine and a half. Nine and a half. Nine. Nine, yeah, right. Guys, a quick update. Lucas is working on the struts. Yeah, we're trying to regrease them. Regreasing the struts. You can see. Cleaning. Yeah, let me see. Yeah, just uh, getting the old grease out. I'm going to put the new grease in and we got to do that four times. Here we got drying fenders. Came out good. Now it's time to put this on the lift. Mm -hmm. mm, yeah. Sticking. So, what do we do for what we need? I don't know if you're seeing this guys, but this one is kind of, yeah, you do see it a little bit. Yeah, it's polished here. Yeah, it's polished and which means it's a rubbing. Yep. But we're going to install it. But anyways. it was rubbing on the different strut. Oh yeah, different strut. Yeah. So it may be different. different housing, on this one. So. All right. Let's see what's going on over here. Started to fix these dents. This is aluminum. Probably just gonna leave it like that. This guy is zip tied. Fender is in. That's the original one. Lines up nicely. Fix this dent. We're gonna put bando on this in this area and right here. So this lines up. This dent we can't fix from the inside because there's it's obstructed by some metal bracing whatever so we're gonna just put bando on this one so still working on this basically what i'm doing is i'm using a, a block putting it underneath the hood and i mean i'm on this side look is on the other or gently bending it down to where it's supposed to be not sure why it's like that this is it was up half an inch. Now we're down to a quarter. So not going to do it anymore. I'm going to uh, install this one and see what the difference is. See how this one will line up. Getting somewhere. We know that this is all messed up over here. I mean, here. This hole is in a different zip code than where it's supposed to go. Uh, it's okay. It because lines of, up. Because of a race car, so. Yeah. Yeah, race on race cars doesn't matter. So we're going to try Close the hood. Okay. Do, do Porsches? No way. No way. Wow. Wow, wide body. That's a, that's a wide body right there. That's a huge gap. Let's, let's check it, check out the uh, the semi good side. Okay. Oh, we gotta move uh... some things around. Yes. Yeah. Hood this way. <laughs> That's way up. 
to do. I need to uh, bring out the hammer. It's gotta go back to body shop. Okay, guys, I'm working on a second strut uh, housing, and as you can see, this old grease needs to come out. And after I remove that, I'll repack it with uh, mobile. Mobile one synthetic grease. There you go, mobile. Had to do it. Come on. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Is one. oh man. Oh shit. Man. Uh, it's, moving? it's not gonna go anywhere. What to do? Oh yeah, right. Look how, look. I mean, we had a, an inch before. Yeah, but can we move the hood this, this way? Because th that, that's pretty tight. Better? What? <laughs> no, not better. <laughs> What's the gap? Oh, shit. <laughs> Wow. You just noticed something. I know it's not finished, but it looks like we got a white body thing going on on this side. See how the wheel is in? Inside the fender? <laughs> and this, I mean, this one's also in, but no, let me straighten out the wheel. Robert, what? And at this moment, he knew he fucked up. <laughs> That's right. Okay, so. This one it's in all also, but not as much. You can kind of tell by the bumper here. Yeah, we got some towing going on. All right, so we're gonna no, leave it mm. like that and do exhaust. <laughs> <laughs> we do have a gasket. Uh, from from what car is it? I don't know, man. Like Universal, a Honda? Universal one. We have a. I think we have a Honda no, gasket. No, 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 man. It's like one three one one three part number. Right? Yeah, some. Not even, it's so hard to get an actual exhaust gasket for this car. I don't know, no, no, not even AutoZone, no Napa. I don't know. So I'm gonna do a bit more massaging and show you the results. All right, guys, last touch, zip ties to hold the brake hoses. Got a beautiful, freshly painted uh, strut. We replace, uh, you, you won't be able to see it, but we will replace the strut here too. I think I went too far on the... Toe? Toe. I told you. No, on that side. Um, you wanna... We might be good on this side. Oh yeah, we are definitely. Oh, the steer, no, no. There we go.
All right, that's good. Good enough. Good enough? Okay. I bet you it's gonna be like this way and that way when we okay. drop it. All right, so we are basically done with the uh, mechanicals in the front. Uh, all you gotta do is uh, fender liner here. The uh, fender is somewhat adjusted. Still needs some adjusting. The hood, we got a bigger gap on this side than, than on the other. Uh, we glued up, here, let's see this. Oh. Had to glue. This bracket was broken. We used uh, epoxy Gorilla glue. Yeah, that's what we used. So this is gonna stay overnight. This is ready to go. Well, tomorrow it will be. We're gonna mount it. It's not gonna be perfect. Next day, taking off the fender. Yeah. Again. I think for the fifth time. Because we actually cut this, then we welded it, more or less in the same spot. And then we attach the light, which is already glued. So now what we gotta do is cut this again, move just this piece from here to here, move it back so we can line up this hole to the light and the fender. Well, that's the fender light, right? Yeah, that's the fender hole. Right. And uh, install the light and then mark it and weld it again. Yeah, I, I think this piece, you see this? This is the oh, old piece yeah. of the radiator core support. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. now if we cut this and we can line it up, we should be fine. Okay. Yeah, so we right. Have, we you're have... right. Yeah, we're, we are way off. And we have a Dude. An, an issue. What? Yeah, it's not. that's not done. What, you thought? Oh, you said it's done. No, I was just joking. I'm glad we didn't take it for a test drive yesterday. Okay, so I took out the spark plug cables, wires, or coils, and you can see, yeah, we have we have oil. See that one there? Yeah, but we're just, you know, it's just for extra lubrication. So I'm just going to replace the spark plugs and that's going to be Call it. Call it a day. Call it a day. So guys, check out these spark plugs. This is your ideal little bit brownish colored spark plug. It is worn. This camera doesn't do well at close-ups. Anyways, this part of the spark plug where the actual spark happens is a little bit worn. It's not ideal. It's not bad. This, I mean, might as well replace them. They are, they seem original. NGK original spark plugs. So the gap is probably bigger than it should be, but it's not too bad. But the coloring is good. This one though, it looks like it's burning a bit of oil, which is nothing major too. It's not too bad. And it's also a tiny bit worn. So the ones I bought Bosch spark plugs simply because NGKs were not available and we wanted to get it done today. So Bosch double platinum, that's what's going in. They were like five bucks a piece, so you know, might as well. This is uh, cylinder two and four.